Welcome, children of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book. I called on the Lord, and I received his word. Thank you for coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com. Oh, Grandfather God, in the name of thy Son, Father, Lord, God, Jesus Christ Almighty, Lords of Lords and Kings of Kings, please do what's written for me. I read to the children that you, Grandfather God, will make this world marvel. I also read that you will draw all the children unto thy father, your son, that you gave unto us, the creator of everything. Oh, who believe? Make a believer out of it, please. Show them who I called on. Thank you, children of God, for coming to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show us what he wrote to us. Welcome, children of God, part two. Jesus is Lord. Philippians, we're going to read and look up these, this chapter and the verses that we're about to read. The 11th, the 13th, the 19th, the 20th, and the 21st. The 11th verse. Not that I speak in respect of one, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. The 13th verse. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. The 19th verse. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. The 20th verse. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. The 21st verse. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. O oh Lord, Father, Jesus Christ, ministering unto you before Grandfather God, and them that hear the reading of Christ's holy word, who believe. Lord, it is written, 2 Corinthians, the first chapter, the ninth verse, but we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God which raised the dead. I read, my Lord, you are faith to put my trust in my Lord. That's what I read. Put my trust in my Lord. Grandfather, God is belief. My Lord, I read, I know, Grandfather, God born me and sent me to testify that he sent you. Father, Lord, God, Jesus Christ, the true and living word, who believes. Please, in your name, my Lord, Father, Jesus Christ, Grandfather God, make 
this world marvel. Let's look up. The 11th verse has in it one, for I have learned whatever state I'm in to be content. St. Mark, the 12th chapter, the 20, the 44th verse. For all they did cast in their abundance. But she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Read that chapter, St. Mark, the 12th chapter, the 44th verse. Where the lady put everything that she had in, but the rich. They put in their abundance. My Lord, this woman put in all she had. I read, it is written, St. Mark, the 12th chapter, the 29th verse. And Jesus answered him. The first of all commandment is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God is one Lord. Oh, my Lord. From reading your word, Grandfather God gave love to us. You, my Lord, Father, Jesus Christ, for God is love. Read that, my Lord. I read that, my Lord. Yes, Jesus is love. The 11th verse adds in it, Therewith be content. 1 Timothy, the 6th chapter, the 6th verse. But godliness with contentment is great gain. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Contentment, a state of happiness and satisfaction. The 13th verse has in it. Through Christ, St. John, the 15th chapter, the 5th verse, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him. The same bring forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. That's why I'm here. To show you that we are the children of God. And that I called on him. And I can't do anything without him. And my grandfather God also. The 13th verse. Through Christ with strength in me. 2 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, the 9th verse. And he said unto me. My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will gather glory in my infirmities. That the power of Christ may rest upon me. Infirmity physical or mental weakness. I called on the Lord because I'm weak. I've been put out of God's house. I have went to the Masonic order and gave them a word, which was a long time ago given unto them. And this man put it on back of a shirt, T-shirt, 
And I told him, who did, who told him to do that? But something came up in that Masonic order where they told me I couldn't pray on my knees. I have to do what they do. And that's when I became chaplain. Oh, children of God, this is a evil world. And it's the way we are taught. God knows it. For it, he says, separate from them. But you don't know how to separate from somebody because you don't know God's word. They take God's word and they dress it up for you. Don't you know they go to school that learn words and how to put it before the children, the 13th verse, which strengthened me, Colossians, the first chapter, 11th verse, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. I told you I have no joy in this world. I have children that don't believe. One of them told me they don't believe in God. And then try to dress it up saying, yeah, I believe in them, but you know, but she had an experience in God's house of prayer. She says, but who knows but God? Like I told her, God knows. You can tell me anything. But not to believe there's a God, and this is my child. Oh, children of God, now you see why I called on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Because of this world tricking God's children. The 13th verse, which strengthened me. 1 Timothy, the first chapter, the 12th verse. And I think Jesus Christ, Jesus, our Lord, who hath enabled me, for that he count me faithful, putting me into the ministry. So those ministers out there, listen, my Lord put me in this. And the truth will make me free. I'm going to read it. For he is coming back for me, all his children. I read to you that he is in us. We are in him. And he is in the only father, our grandfather, God. The 13th verse has in it, which strengthened me. Second Timothy, the fourth chapter, the 17th verse. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lions. Yes, even me. Not the lions that you lock up in cages at zoos, but the lions of the people that trick God's children. I went to a place one time and showed them what I received. They say they take my name and they'll call me. Or they'll get in touch with me. 
or they will know me the next time I come. The 13th verse has in it, which strengthened me. Hebrew, the 11th chapter, the 34th verse. Quench the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the sword. Out of the weakness were made strong. Wax vanity in fight. Turn to fight the enemies, the armies of the aliens. Yes, the aliens. You know who they are? I read that angels even changed and became as one of us. I read that even Satan himself have ministers. And if you don't understand what God wrote to us, to show us through the beginning to the end what he's going to do and what has happened to us, well, children, you need to read. Read for yourself because I read to you that trust no man. If you trust in man, if you trust in man, you cursed. God wrote that to us. And people say, well, who should I trust? I just read it to you. We, we're going to die. That's a sentence for us. So we cannot trust in ourselves. Put our trust in God. I read to you, learn of me. That's what's written, learn of God. I read to you, surely, what he's going to do, what he has done, and what he's going to do. So I'm going to read to you what he is going to show us. Oh, my Lord, in your name, Grandfather God, please make this world marvel. Who believe? The 19th verse shall supply all. Psalms, the 23rd chapter, the first verse. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I'll finish it. He maketh me lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me besides the still water. He restore my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And that's written. Who wants to know about God? The 19th verse. Shall supply all. 
2 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, the eighth verse. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good word. And the only words that I know that is what they say good because I tell there's nothing good on this earth. And there is no good but one. And that is our grandfather God. Jesus told us that. Do you know why? Because his father formed him. And Jesus created us from the womb and look at the way we are. But he's going to come back for his children and he's going to divide his children. And his children are going to get away from evil because he's going to show you what's surrounding us. Oh, Grandfather God, your son that you sent. And in Jesus' name, I told them, you, Grandfather God, sent me also who believe. I read to the children of God why I know from reading from the holy book I received who believe. The 19th verse, according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Our grandfather God gave us Jesus Christ. Remember I read to you where it's written, glorify thy name. And then there came a voice saying, I have both glorified. And I will glorify it again. What is our grandfather God going to do? He going to start making them that's head of his house address him. In front of his children and call him grand. Isn't he grand? He gave his only begotten son, but that's not what I call him grand for. I call him grandfather God because his son that came here to show us we could live, he created all things. I, I read that to you. So that makes Jesus our Father, our God. He creates from the womb. Said that in the Old, Old Testament. I am that I am. And tell them I am sent you. Oh, Grandfather God, your son that you sent and in Jesus' name, I told them, you, Grandfather God, sent me also. Who believes? I read to, to the children of God why I know from reading from the holy book I received. Who believes? The 19th verse has in according to the riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Ephesians, the third chapter, the 16th verse. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. My heart. Remember, I believe I read to you about the heart. 
What comes from your mouth, it comes from your heart. Oh, my Lord. It is written, Ephesians, the third chapter, the 19th verse. And to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that ye might be filled with the fullness of God. Knowledge. Knowledge of the holy gives you understanding. I read that to you. It's a proverb. Who believes? Oh, Grandfather God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus, please do what's written. The 20th verse, God and our Father, God and our Father, Corinthians. Galatians, excuse me, Galatians, the first chapter, the fourth verse, who gave himself for our sin, that we might deliver us from the present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father. Who believes God's word? Oh, Lord, our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, oh, Grandfather God, it is written in the third verse of Galatians, the first chapter, grace be to you and peace from God, the Father, and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who believe. Our Lord Jesus Christ. 20th verse, glory forever and ever. Romans, the 11th chapter, the 36th verse. For in him and through him, and to him are all things. To whom be glory forever. Amen. Jesus, when he came, he said to the children, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one can come unto my Father but through me. Who believes? This is the last time the truth will be read. And then next week I'll say that again and people get an attitude, maybe. But I'm just saying that this is the last time that when this world marvel and grandfather God do what is written, it's going to make this world marvel. Then I may stop saying this is the last time. And the reason I say this is the last time because the children of God need to get their self ready. Because I called on someone who believed that a poor man and then you want to talk about a color. Yeah. Would call on God and he hears him. He heard him. And he gave him something to prove. But who believes? I showed you what I received. Glory forever and ever. This is in Romans. The 11th chapter, the 36th verse. And we're in the 20th verse that I read to you. Glory forever 
and ever. For of him and through him and to him are all things. To whom be glory forever. Amen. The 20th verse. Glory forever and ever. Romans the 16th chapter. The 27th verse. To God only wise. Be glory through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Oh, Grandfather God, now I understanding of the holy gives me knowledge, love. For I promise to every child of God, every word that comes out of your mouth will be that of God. And that's written. Then you will know what love is. Because we are love. He's in us. We're in him. He's in our grandfather, God. Oh, my Lord. This year, I learned it is written. First Timothy, the fourth chapter, the 16th verse. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine continue in them. For in doing so thou shalt save thyself. For in doing so thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. I received the doctrine from grandfather God, I learned. You, my Lord Christ, is in all your children. And we are in you. My Lord, and you, my Lord, is in our only grandfather God, making us one who believes. Lord, it is written, Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the 13th verse, until we all come into the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. That's written. And to finish it, that we will be no more tossed to and fro with every whim of doctrine by the slaves of man with their cunning craftness. Where they, they lie to deceive you. That's written. But it's also written God is going to separate his children. My Lord, you are Christ. The true and living word. In your name, Father, Lord Jesus Christ. My faith. And grandfather, God is belief that gave faith unto us. Oh, children of God, Jesus is Lord, and he's coming back for us. I hope I made this plain to you what I read. I'm not telling you how to be, what to do, how to act. Because I read to you it amused God by the preaching of them that saves to them that believe. What do you believe? 
You need to be saved. Oh, Lord. I believe that Grandfather God is belief. And our Grandfather God gave us faith. He gave us love. And when we have every word come out of our mouth, be that of God, because I talk to people about God, they tell me, I don't, I, I, I know God. I have a personal relationship with God. Who told you that? Who taught you that? God's children better hope God have them. Because how do you have something that you cannot see? The substance that is hoped for. You don't hope no more. If you got them, you don't have to hope. But maybe I'm not making sense to God's children because of the way they're taught. But I can say this to you. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show you what is written. Take care of yourself.